I've just created this link tree so it's easier for you guys to contact me. You can do so through my Instagram or my crypto Twitter that I've just recovered. If you want to support me as a creator, you can do so over here and just send in a thank you message. Thank you guys. How's it going everyone? Hope you guys enjoyed my weekend update on Quant. And uh, again, we did get that weekly close above that 55, not above the 20 though. That was sitting at $128 but we did close above $122. So still holding that 55 moving average on the weekly time frame as support maintaining, technically speaking, the weekly bull market. I know that sounds so, so, so wrong, but yeah, as long as we are above these moving averages, we're in a bull market. So yes, we've been playing around with the emotions. Bullish, bearish, bullish, bearish, bullish, bearish bullish and still bullish holding it so i really do like that we were underneath this last week and then that we reclaimed it unfortunately though we are trapped between the two weekly moving averages 122 and 127 hours this started to come back down and start to face downwards this is a negative signal it means that potentially the 20 is topping out we've lost the 20th support is flipping into resistance for continuation lower. So although we're currently holding the 55, what we now need to see in these next week and two, or week and a, yeah, the next two weeks, this hold is support and a break above this. We need to break above this. Otherwise, this week we're just running into resistance, confirming it as resistance, and the following week losing this $122. That could all happen in one week, to be honest, guys. We're just looking at the daily candles, for, for example, because again, seven days in one week, it's got more than enough time to go there one day, return in one day, and lose it the next, the following day. You know what I mean? So just, just recognize that in this week, we're trapped between the two. So wait for that this weekend's weekly candle close. I probably will make a Sunday video then again for you guys. On the daily time frame, if we turn on the drawings now, we were talking about this potential pump back into these key EMAs, but we were saying on the channel yesterday, as long as we are below these EMAs, it's going to try and continue lower and lower and lower. And what we were saying back over here with this red candle on Friday is that we must reclaim $126 as well as $130. And all we were doing yesterday is having this uh, short-term bounce because we met some of the targets and in doing so, you do get this short-term bounce. So that was a play that we were talking about on the channel that you could be doing in your own time. And we can see that we did not manage to push through uh, the golden pocket, which is 0 0.5, 0 0.61, let alone the, the moving averages. We've retested them as resistance for continuation lower. I wouldn't be surprised if we do try and come up to here again. But because we've set this wick that has rejected the 20, confirming this is a downtrend on the daily time frame and the loss and the confirmation of the 200 EMA down here being resistance, the expectation is further continuation downwards after this confirmation. The bearish cross is not enough. As you can see, we did go down lower, but actually started to come back up a lot. Even if we measure from there to there, you can see a 10% pump. If it was a little bit higher pushing through these levels, then it would have been uh, an invalidation point of the descending triangle or head and shoulders pattern that we see ourselves in over here. That was rejecting the much larger dead cow bounce area of resistance, which is our bear market box that we see over here, which I've had this, uh, this box ever since 2021, the loss of it in 2021 over here, somewhere here, 20, at the beginning of 2022. But not only that, um, we were calling for this dead cat bounce ever since down here, saying that, that we could go up as high as 190 but the golden pocket is between 150, 160, but up as high as 190 because that 786 fib was up there. We didn't manage to get to the 786 fib, but we are retracing and we're just retracing to key levels of support. So we're trying to come back down towards $100, but this golden box over here sitting between $115 and $125 does act as a strong level of support. This is why it gave us a 10% pump in uh, three days, essentially. So. What we now need to see, again, for continuation downwards, simply close the daily candle below 124, where we are under it right now. So if we close beneath 124, this green line will become resistance, this box will become red, okay? 
I'll do it now. I'll do it now. And then if it, if we do actually hold it as support t tonight, then uh, tomorrow I'll change it green again. But for the moment, we're underneath. This should act as resistance. Let's not get too confident with this candle because it's the daily candle close. We're waiting for the day to end, which is in 11 hours. We always make the judgments after that. Just as this was a big green candle yesterday and just for the daily candle closed, boom, invalidating the, the whole bullish day, basically. And so now we're looking for that follow through for this bearish continuation to our targets that have been confirmed. Yes, with yesterday's pump, you actually confirmed that we should be heading towards $105, 100 to $105. It's just that just before this target between 116 and 124, essentially where we are today, We've got this key area of support that can bring us these bounces. We've seen a 10% bounce from this location. Can we get another one? Or will we push through this like butter and meet our 105, 100 to 105 dollar technical target? I must say, after me, well, if we do meet this target, I must say, if $100 psychological level is lost, I've, as I mentioned in the last few updates, we've got targets at 77 to 83, as well as 45 to 50 dollars. This is because if we lose $100, you would validate oh, this target. My apologies, guys. You'd validate this target down to here. Can you see that? $45. That's pretty much it for today's comp video. It was a little bit of a shorter one, but there's not much more to say. It's just a sit and wait game. I hope you guys enjoyed today's update. Please do like, subscribe and comment. Check out those channel memberships if you want to get these videos out earlier. It would be greatly appreciated if you could support the channel. And if you want to take action on the course or the mentorship, I'll play a little clip for you guys right now. Thank you guys. So I'll quickly show you guys how you take action, whether you want to support me or take action on the course or the mentorship, simply hit this link tree over here on my homepage. It will then take you to over here where you can obviously just come from my YouTube. This is my crypto Twitter. I've just got it back. So help me reach 2000 followers over there. I will be doing a 5000 subscriber giveaway for my course over there. Free course giveaway will be on my crypto Twitter. So make sure you're following me there. I've just opened up an Instagram for anyone that's not on crypto Twitter or not on Twitter. Sorry. For those that just have Instagram, you can private message me over there to get started on the course or the mentorship. You do get the chat with both options as well. If you just want to support me as a creator, that's through here. But going back to my homepage, you can just simply click the Twitter button here. Just quickly go to Twitter or you can click this section. Now, this section is a little bit different. Again, you can buy me a beer if you want. I know a lot of you have said that in the past. We're going to bookings over here. You can get the one to one mentorship. It goes through it as well as the crypto course over here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you do like, subscribe and comment and I'll catch you in the next update. Peace.